Oh boy, you guys are making me do it. You're making me go with the Hummel. I've played this once since the 8.6. 8.6, right? Is that the version just came out? Yeah, artillery. I think so. <laughs> I played it once since the artillery update and decided that I no longer liked it. But you guys want to see it, so I'll suffer through it once more. I was half tempted to sell it for a while there in my, my rage after playing it once, <laughs> but I didn't. And so as you can see, let's pull up its stats. So its gun now does pretty much twice as much damage it did before. This used to be a tier 5 and now it's a tier 6. Its traverse speed, its top speed, they've all been nerfed. Its reload time has been nerfed. Its aim time has been increased dramatically. It's, it's really kind of a, a pain now more than anything, which is probably why in the higher tiered battles, artillery, the quantity of artillery, it's been like this. It's been like one artillery per battle for the most part. There's been quite a few with no artillery, which is great. I'm not complaining at all about lack of artillery. I, I rather enjoy having very few artillery in my battles. Even if I am artillery, um, it just, I don't know, I, it's something about getting shot by stuff that you can't see that's just really a, a huge annoyance. <laughs> uh, so let's make our way over. Where are we? We're on this side. Okay, town's over in that direction. We do want to cover that direction. We're going to have to kind of put ourselves in a little bit of danger, I think, if we want to cover that direction. Oh, this used to be already spun around all the way. It was like instant. It was it handled like a light. Choose a direction. It handled like a light tank before. Almost. I guess maybe a medium. But is there nobody going this way? Not many. That might be our demise. We might have already lost before it began. It's gun depression is still pretty good though, the angle at which it can shoot down. So that means it's still good in tank destroyer mode. <laughs> Let's see, if we park here, I haven't played artillery on this map ever, have I? Maybe once. But if we sit here, can we shoot anything over in this direction? Not really. Crap. Uh, let's let's point this way. <laughs> oh, I'm such an artillery noob. <laughs> hmm. Let's move back up a little bit more. Get to the edge of the world. How about now? No. What? Ah, uh, what a pain. What a pain. I guess we're moving over. I'm going to spend the whole battle just... Orienting my, orienting my, orienting, positioning myself. Look at this guy backing up from me like he's scared of me. I'm gonna shoot you, buddy. No. Uh, let's hide behind the rock. We can shoot over it, I think. Let's help out these guys in the hills. It's this Hellcat. They shouldn't have much trouble with that, should they? Okay. Let's not hit our friendly Leo there. Oh yeah, they got him. No problem. Gotta keep an eye on the hill there. Or to our rights, I mean. Up where, we're, where we're actually parked. That might get into some trouble there. Now there was a heavy. There it is. Let's see if we can't hit it. M6. That's a nice squishy one. It's tracked. Let's quickly aim. And hopefully fire before it fixes itself. And it'll probably pull back as soon as it does. Firing. And... Ah, if he wouldn't have moved, <laughs> we would have probably hit him right on. Done some serious damage. Crap, that direction is in some serious trouble. Let's pull over. Man, got one shot off and we're already taking cover. I need to make sure I'm reloaded for when they come on out. Dang it. I guess we just gonna have to wait. There's a mob of them there. I think this is gonna be the end. Our team is definitely not covering us. Cat now. 
<laughs> if they don't do it now, then we are done for. And if there's enough of them there, the whole team will go back and we'll only have a couple of them to deal with. Let's see what this Jag can, can take out. If I back up here, I should be low enough that I can shoot over the rock, but they can't shoot me. Let's give it a try. Well, I can't shoot through that, that gap too well, can I? I might be able to hit this guy. Gotcha. Okay, now this next guy. Got some reloading to do first. If I, I have to move right to hit him. Which I can't do. Hmm. Because the, the base of this thing is in the way. I can't do that though, because if I move to the right. Maybe I can a little bit. Let's do that a little bit. He'll be able to shoot me. I'm gonna go tank destroyer mode. <laughs> Heck with this, we're moving with an now not as accurate. It's more accurate than I remember actually already. Uh, so maybe not all hope was lost for it, but still. Now, can he do 300 damage with a shot? <laughs> I don't know. Hit him from here. Crap. Let's try a real shot. Wow, I can't believe that hit him. Wow. <laughs> I thought I was just going to hit the rock here and go a mile over his head. I didn't think that was ever going to hit him. That was such a lucky shot. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> We've got a walking toaster beside us, by the way. It's not a, it's not a tank. It's a walking toaster. Sorry, buddy. I don't want to push you into the hill too much. Reloaded again. Hellcat's ahead of us enough that he's a pretty good scout. I'm going to keep this guy ahead of us, most likely. Well, maybe not. We're just going to rush in there. There's only one of them left. Do or die. See over there. Well, if I stop here, I probably won't be able to hit over there because of this bridge. So let's push on through a little farther. Hopefully, if we get shot at it, we can see him. building. So I don't think we're going to be able to hit him. He's going to come out here. It's not a chance that this is going to hit him, is there? Oh. Eh, would have been okay. Wouldn't have, I don't think it would have splashed him, but regardless, we won. Two kills. Man, judging by the start of that battle, that is not how I was expecting that to happen. What the M6, would we track both of those tracks? Yeah, or at least, at least one of them damaged and destroyed a track. M5, <laughs> we just destroyed him. The M5s have an open turret, so like, I think the turret doesn't close at the top. I can't remember. But those types of vehicles with the open turrets, you hit them in, the, in, that, open, in that opening and pff, HE rounds, they just do a whole lot of damage. Hence the engine, ammo rack, track, <laughs> driver, radio operator. <laughs> Even if he would have somehow survived that, say he survived it with a health point left or something, he would have been hurting so bad. Like his driver is dead, his tracks were damaged, and his engine was damaged. He would have been so slow that it wouldn't have been any kind of fun. It, ammo rack and radio operator. and Well, the radio operator, that doesn't really affect it too much. I think it affects... I don't know exactly what its effect is even. Let's check it out though. Over a thousand experience, not too shabby. Uh, the five, oh, about the middle list for damage done. A little, well, about two thirds up, I guess. A little bit lower than that for experience earned, which is fine. One of our teammates got sniper. One of them got cool headed, which I don't know exactly what that is. And credits, twenty thousand, which on my way to the T fifty seven, I'm gonna need more credits. I think I'm gonna reach the experience, two hundred fifty thousand experience. I need with the T54E1 here. I think I'm going to reach 250,000 before I reach the 6.1 million credits I need to buy that tier 10. Yep, 6.1 million. So if if you guys haven't yet yet got to your high tier tanks, if you're thinking a couple hundred thousand for a tank right now is a lot, then you you just wait. <laughs> it gets even better. 
But until next time, guys, uh, just enjoy the very, very quick list of tanks that we're going to scroll through here. Any of them, feel free to request them. If you want to request the T-57 already, then you go right ahead. I guess the same goes for the Churchill gun carrier, since I'm more than likely going to get going to get it. But I'm not enjoying that Churchill at all, so we'll see if I even enjoy the gun carrier. Uh, I'm going to probably get it after I get the T-57. And right now I'm just doing the Churchill. I'm getting the doubles every day, and that's about it. So that, that X5 weekend we had on Labor Day, or Independence Day, whatever it's called in your area. Maybe you don't celebrate it, whatever. Um, that, that 5X was really, really nice for that, as well as for getting progress done on the T54 E1. But I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.